I'm Joe. I do religion and philosophy, politics and economics. And I guess I did okay in my GCSEs. Um, the most nerve-wracking thing about my GCSEs would be waking up on the morning of the exam. Um, but it's just something you've got to get through. Um, you sometimes feel nervous, worried, especially me. I was always very nervous and very worried. But you just have to deal with it and push through it. And as long as you've prepared yourself, um, correctly, then you'll be fine. Uh, my name's Claire Lisa Drake and I'm an A-level student at Berlin College. Um, well, from GCSEs, I took in a lot of tips and hints that can help me through A-levels and I prepared myself through the summer before A-levels. I've revised lots, I've got loads of help from my teachers. We do um, something called the Mindset and Tutorials with our tutors, where you break down your revision chunks. We did this months ago, so you'll you'll have a target for that specific month and talk about which topics you want to get to them targets. Once you've reached them, you'll move on and do different chunks. So it builds together in the year, really. Hi, my name is Mevish. I'm, I'm studying at Burnley College. I'm in my second year doing A-levels in history, English, literature and law. Little secrets I've got to revise is that my teachers have always, always told me to revise in chunks, so don't take too much on at any time. Make sure you're prioritising as well. You need to know in, in time for your exams and stuff and just prioritise, I think that's really important and to have a good revision plan and to maintain a healthy work balance as well so you're being social and you're doing your work as well. Before an exam I usually feel quite sick and um, that's because I'm scared, because of my nerves um, but to overcome that I just speak to my mum, I speak to my teachers and I make sure that I still have my social time with my friends even if I do speak to them about what they've been up to in terms of the revision. Um, I just think it's really useful to still remember that you do have that time socialising with your friends to break up your revision and have little bits of breaks. And that's best. In the morning, I'd usually talk to my mum. Yeah. As sad as it sounds, it's usually quite a good thing to just sort of sit there, have a chat with your mum, uh, make some good breakfast, breakfast best meal of the day. I'd never advise skipping it, ever. Have some good toast, nice glass of orange juice, problem solved, you got. And then once you've done that, your exams seem a hell of a lot easier. I think to take, to take a bottle of water with you in, inside is really important because it does help stimulate the information in your brain and to put that down on the paper. Um, I think it's really important to kind of take time to breathe before you actually go into the exam. Some people go in there and they, they're just completely flustered, but I think it is important to breathe and take a second, take back, look at the question and process that in your, in your mind? I'd say never ever cram at the last minute for any sort of exam. I mean I had my economics exam this morning so that requires a lot of definitions and stuff. Similar things happen at GCSE. I remember in my GCSE chemistry I had to learn a lot of definitions, a lot of uh, like specific parts of the subject. I advise breaking it down into like a series of chunks and learning them individually. Practicing past paper questions, giving them to your teacher and then getting them to mark them and changing what you do based on their feedback. Burnley College have always helped me because my tutors have always encouraged me to aim high and that's stuck with me always to aim high and stuff and to they've always provided me with a healthy work environment so there's always somewhere quiet I can do my work whereas if I want to do, do some work with a friend I can do that as well so they're both good environments to do some work yeah. Burnley College have aided me through the exam process by providing me with the resources that are necessary for me to learn. The teachers are always there to help me out and give up the time for me, which is always good to go through past papers and things like that.